Today, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled against the Navajo Nation in a water rights dispute involving the Colorado River. In the 5-4 to four decision, the court threw out the tribe's decades-old lawsuit against the federal government. Fox 13 News reporter Darian DeBrule spoke to a Navajo Nation citizen about what this ruling means for them. For decades, the Navajo Nation has been seeking more water rights to the Colorado River. Water insecurity that Navajo Nation is experiencing today is long-rooted despite multiple attempts by the nation to try and address it, to try and get involved in the decision-making process, but not being allowed to do that. On Thursday, the Supreme Court decided 5-4 against the Navajo Nation, deciding the federal government is not responsible for ensuring water access for the tribe. In the majority opinion, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh said in part, the Navajos contend that the treaty requires the United States to take affirmative steps to secure water for the Navajos. In light of the treaty's text and history, we conclude that the treaty does not require the United States to take those affirmative steps. Heather Tanana, Navajo Nation citizen and University of Utah research professor, says she was disappointed by the ruling, but still she and the Navajo Nation are not giving up hope. In a statement, Navajo Nation speaker of the 25th Navajo Nation Council, Crystalline Curley, said in part, today's ruling will not deter the Navajo Nation from securing the water that our ancestors sacrificed and fought for, our right to life and the livelihood of future generations. Even though this court found there's no enforceable duty of the federal government to help the nation. There still is historic investment by Congress for tribal water infrastructure projects. Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.